All right, so <clears throat> this will have to be a video in regards to rocking Mr. E. Now, I'm not putting him in the tags or anything, not because I'm scared, but because it's kind of about him, but it's about a revelation I had concerning him. Now, I have a passion for rocking Mr. E. He's the realest nigga I know on YouTube. All he says is real talk. And part of the reason that I went from having a lot of faith in him to being a little soul was because he was all about that real talk. Like at first he started talking about how in the men's right movement that he wasn't going to let anyone with, who's a Marxist join his cause because of his principles, which is weird. More on that. Um, and then he started throwing other YouTubers under the bus for shit that they do, including that curly haired blonde chick with the weird accent. Um, It was, yeah, it was that girl, I don't know who her name was, but I kind of forgot. However, she threw her, he threw her under the bus, he was throwing a lot of people under the bus. He was throwing in that real talk, and he had a passion for that, that's the only language he knows. And he started, like, getting really passionate and shit, because that's all he knows, real talk. And I started thinking, wait. I'm losing faith here. What if this guy's not cool? And what if real talk has its limitations? Luckily, I just had a revelation a while back, a few hours ago. I was thinking, you know what? This is the same shit I do. And it makes sense. You see, I don't have a men's right activist movement or... Something along those lines. What I'm interested in is in the, I'm interested in a lot of people with similar views as mine, and having an intellectual movement where we can basically engage in dialectics, try to grow with our views, and develop something that's probably even beyond politics. Something really interesting and shit like that. Problem is, a lot of people that I, I might like speak to and they'll turn to anarchists, I don't use them because a lot of time those people really don't show any interest in helping out a philosophical movement. They're just really out there to show that, ooh, look at me, I'm smart, I hold these views, and I'm better than you and shit, and that pisses me off. It goes against my principles, which is. That if we have a movement, you're gonna look to grow that movement and grow with that movement. Not that you're gonna use that movement as a proxy to sound like a fucking genius. I hate people that they do things and they say things just to sound smarter than everybody else. It's fucking ridiculous. Like, if you're an idiot, then... I would already know that. If you're smart, I'd already know that. You don't have to try and force it. I already know what you are. Chances are, real talk, if, if I consider you an idiot, that's probably how my opinion is going to stay. There's nothing you can do about it. However, people who were introduced to various schools of anarchist thought by me ended up just being the same as they were before being narcissists were stuck up and basically use these ideas to establish themselves as a countercultural person and I don't need to deal with those kind of people 
Because I'm not the counterculture, I'm not the culture writer. I'm basically... I'm basically just focused on the movement and not its results, not its, uh, not the evaluation of whether or not it should or should not happen, and its reflection on humanity. I'm not interested in how this affects the scope of humanity. I'm just interested in basically the growth of ideas, the growth of us as a group and individuals intellectually and things like that. So for him to have a movement where he not only wants people that are on his side, but that have his principles, I can kind of understand that. It's like 20% is what they actually say, and 80% is the meaning behind it. And sometimes when people in the movement, the meaning behind what they do differs from you, it's kind of like, damn... You shouldn't be associating with these people. Like, he doesn't want to associate with other MRAs because maybe they're Marxist. Maybe their goal is to weaken masculinity, like feminism, weaken femininity. I don't even think that's the actual word, but being feminine and so masculism is going to mess everything up alternatively and things of that nature. <clears throat> Fuck. That's gross, I know. Kind of like I'm worried that anybody that shares my particular views shares it because they're idiots that think that they can change the fucking world and that they're so fucking brilliant that... Everybody should listen to what they have to say. I'm not interested in those people. I'm interested in actual fucking philosophers. Hell, I'll pick ideologues. People that blindly follow their idea without even thinking about the rationality behind it, why it works, and things of that nature. They just see, oh, this agrees with me, so yeah. I'm going to I'll rather have that than somebody that Just wants to sound smart and be all hipster and counterculture. Because I can find someone like that. And that person isn't going to help me. That person is going to help my movement. In fact, even if it pushes it forward, gets it known, the movement itself would be a dead man walking. And that's not what I'm interested in, you know? And you heard? So all I gotta say is, the power of real talk always prevails. It always has to. I mean, I had my doubts for a while. I thought that maybe he was one of those guys, Rocky Mystery, that basically they take information they use and they try to overdo things. They try to take things to an unreasonable level, but as it turns out, he took it to a reasonable level when he said things that way. Those are the people in the bus because quite frankly, you either use real talk or you use bullshit. And bullshit being on the side of you isn't going to make you grow stronger, it's going to hold you back. It's going to be dead weight. And you don't want that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and peace out, I guess. I don't know what to say here. I just can't throw the SMD at the end of every line, guys. It'll lose its touch.